we have to start to really do innovative things. And we've got a lot in the hopper. The one thing that's been the most uh, high profile so far that we've actually released to the market has been around the popular mechanics brand. Uh, we edited, designed, and actually technically built that one completely in-house because we wanted to ensure that everything that we wanted to pull off, we were able to do, and there wasn't a limitation from a third party. And I think that also that collaboration pushes our editors and our designers to do things that they wouldn't have necessarily tried to do without that encouragement from having a developer sit adjacent on the floor with them. And so this, this, this product was very well reviewed by the press, by the consumers as well, and by the users in the iTunes store. Uh, you know, I think this speaks pretty loudly. This is pulled right from iTunes that uh, the users, that when they, when they looked at our experience, were pretty impressed and gave a lot of positive feedback in comparison to a lot of other magazines. Uh, and we're not stopping there. Popular Mechanics was the first and goes monthly as of their November issue. Uh, Esquire is about to launch any day. I actually have it on here. It's not easy. Like, a, like with the Starbucks presentation, you'd like to just fire up the site. I'd like to just fire up a bunch of apps here for you, but uh, I couldn't quite set that up. But I would love to, uh, for you to check out Esquire. It'll be out in the App Store within the next week. Um, and then following on the heels of that very shortly in 2010, these other four mega brands within Hearst, Cosmopolitan, O, The Oprah Magazine, Mary Claire and 17 will also debut some uh, beyond the replica type magazines. And what I like about the mix of what we've done is that all of these, while they'll get released to the marketplace, are not all using one single technology solution. We've got a variety of different solutions at play here because we're experimenting with all of them and trying to understand what's, what's easy to use, what's not, what the limitations are, et cetera. And then separate from uh, those magazines, uh, I touch on the sort of standalone experiences earlier. Uh, we've got a number of sort of free shopping utilities available in the marketplace today. Uh, these three here are all powered by a company called Nearby Now. Um, and this is one of the several alternatives that we have in the marketplace today the, to try and uh, experiment with, with different types of user behaviors. Uh, we have uh, something coming out under the Mary Claire brand for fall fashion that is a completely different type of experience than what you'd expect from a magazine. There's no left to right pagination in the way we present this content, yet there's about 300 products or so that are uh, shown off inside this app that you access from a, from a large wallpaper that you can swoosh around the screen. We've, we've really taken a, a lot out of Apple's user interface guidelines to try and ensure that there's a lot of, uh, uh, of new features in here, uh, a lot of product 360s that you can uh, you know, move back and forth and see the front and backs of bags and shoes, and things like that. Uh, zoom capability to really get in on the, the, the real detail, especially on some of the fine jewelry that we have uh, featured for this fall. Connections to Twitter and Facebook are present throughout. And uh, there's a unique product tester uh, feature in there as well that allows you to sort of you know, in, dip your fingers, so to speak, into various makeups that are featured for the fall and put them onto models on screen. And of course, once you're done making your creation, just shake the iPad and all the makeup comes off and you start over again. Pretty fun. Uh, that'll be out in the marketplace in uh, about two weeks. Uh, on the heels of that, we will have uh, something like that under the brand uh, House Beautiful, focused on paint entirely, uh, sort of an encyclopedia of paint colors. Uh, if you're going to paint a room at all after uh, the month of November, I suggest you go and get this app and see if it can help you out. Uh, we've really put a lot of time and energy into this. We think it's a really good creative experience and a really functional and usable experience. Um, and uh, again, another example of what we've got on that track. Uh, we've also got a couple of games that we're working on um, that I don't have screenshots to show you. But uh, like I said, we really do think that's an area that uh, we can play in pretty well. So thank you.